the police department warned uh, uh, anybody about retaliation. We would not tolerate this. And Valdosta police have arrested a man who they say lit a building on fire. It is the same place where his friend was shot to death. Good evening, I'm Mika Heisman. Thanks for watching WTXL ABC 27 News at 11. Firefighters say the suspect may have thrown a Molotov cocktail into the T&D Food Mart and fashion. WTXL's Jade Valexa live now for us in the newsroom. And Jade, Trevon Johnson is now charged with arson, but police have arrested three others today. Mika, Clarence Andrew Casey is charged with malice murder and two others are charged in connection with Sunday shooting that sparked this retaliation. The final moments of Alfred P Pierre Bradley Jr.'s life were terrifying because of Clarence Andrew Casey, police say. Bradley was shot in the back of the head. Police say it ha the shooting happened after Bradley and Radcliffe Eady got in a fight early Sunday morning at the TND Food Mart. Commander Brian Childress says even after 25 years' experience in law enforcement and working homicide cases, it's always tough talking to the family who have lost their loved ones. Sure, just after we made the arrest today, we spoke with uh, the family. They were delighted, obviously, and re relieved. Uh, that does bring folks some closure. but. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, that, that's really what it's all about, is, is bringing someone to justice because someone lost their life, you know, really for nothing. Radcliffe Eady is charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, aggravated assault, and tampering with evidence. Michael Green is charged with party to the crime of aggravated assault. Police say Green was also there the night of the murder. And police say they are looking to make more arrests. In the newsroom, Jade Belexa, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you.